Welcome back. Well, the recycling message has really taken off in the last few years. I mean, we'll even be recycling our water very soon. Dougie has met a local man who has really embraced the ethic. In a world first, he's turning old bits and pieces into guitars. Island crooner Danny Palacio knows the sound of a good guitar. That's why the sweet strains from a cut-down vegetable oil tin seem incredible. Were you surprised? Actually, the sound you get out of this tin can and a bit of wood is fantastic. Danny's learning how it's done from the designer. Knowledge passed on in a few lessons. It took Charles Neville a lot longer to prototype stage. Four years at home using discarded materials. Made from a can that you get from the chip shop, wood that you get out of the tip. A back-to-basics approach strikes the right chord out in public. I was walking down the street this morning um, uh, playing it and um, I reckon I wouldn't have got as many looks if I was a good-looking girl. Inventor is hardly the correct description, yet Charles featured on the ABC TV New Inventors. That's right. The guitar that costs about as much as two plectrums. Cheapness comes from elegant design, worked out to precise dimensions. You can do all of this with simple hand tools, no electricity, no chemicals. The rest is down to handyman skills. The idea attracting worldwide interest, not confined to instrument-deprived musicians in third world countries. There are people living on the streets in Brisbane who are guitarists, but you can't own a guitar when you're living on the streets because someone will steal it from you. These instruments come from the streets, they're designed to survive on the streets. What's the sound like? Oh, it sounds good, man. This sounds really good. Could you make one? Well, I've, um, oh, I don't know for sure myself, but I've been told I could make one. For do-it-yourself types, building instructions are available on the internet. A guitar has healing powers. There have been times in my life when a guitar has saved my life, and I want to do that for other people as well. Like a street band to accompany a Brisbane oh, choir, sponsored by not-for-profit organisation Recklink. It's been a vision over a number of years and Charles with a strong musical background and a strong design engineering background has married these two. You hear that? It just sounds like a normal guitar. Another homegrown guitar in the hands of a grateful muso. Ten bucks to make, shucks, I'll make ten on it. <laughs> it's money saving, not money making. But my focus in the world is to make the world a more beautiful place. And dream sweet dreams of how we lived our lives. Very clever Doug Murray there. From all the team at Extra, have a great night.